two things. I got my nails done today. This got back and I thought I was going to boil some more eggs for snacks for the kids and breakfast. And I tried to get an egg out because I only needed two to fill up the little egg thing. And I tried to do it, just take it out without taking the crate out and I dropped the egg. I tried to catch it and then it just went everywhere. So yay, cleaning up that. It's like the worst is cleaning up the refrigerator. But we still love these little egg things. I put a link here. These are from Amazon, but I don't know. This one makes three, six, seven eggs at a time. <laughs> but the girls love these for snacks. They're great for breakfast. And they really love like avocado toast um, with the egg on it, which is their new thing. So I'm trying to find the napkins I took out. Um, so yeah, this is fun. Gross. So what's gross about when you spill in the refrigerator, it's almost like you have to take like the whole refrigerator apart just to clean because everything like drips and drops, which is so gross. But looks like I'm doing a pretty good job. Um, the other thing I was gonna say was, uh, so you know when you have a candle and oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Look at this. It's like the egg white all everywhere. <laughs> so gross. Um, so I bought a lamp warmer, a candle lamp warmer. I actually got it from, um, wow, there's a lot of things that need to be cleaned down here. <laughs> um, got it from Amazon. No, I got it from Marshalls and uh, it didn't work. So Meredith today went and returned it and got another one. It actually turns on. So gross. So it's actually the candle warmer. I've been wanting one. It's like basically a little lamp, which I don't know. I feel like I could just put a candle under a lamp and maybe it would work. I don't know. Um, but I got one and I think I'm almost done with this. Maybe the bottom floor might have to come out. How do I take it out? Gross. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. But I'm gonna have to wash that rug too. But I got this little lamp thing. It's basically a lamp, but it's candle warmer. See, does anybody else have these? Do they work? Cause I uh, bought one before and it didn't work. It wouldn't turn on, so we exchanged it. And there's always like, this is like a Cabri blue candle from the shop. And when you can't have the wick anymore, but there's like still wax in there. I'm like, I want the rest of the candle. So here we go. Let's see if it, so here it is. I turned it on. I have no idea how long it has to sit there before things start melting. This candle's old. I literally have been, um, I've got like a little timer on it, but I'm just gonna leave it on because I wanna see how long it takes. Uh, my, so I'm multitasking here, guys, Multita <laughs> multitasking. So those are my two things, the egg thing and the candle warmer. But I have literally been saving like all the end of my Capri Blue Volcano candles because like I, I have the big ones, um, the big ones with three wicks. And like, there is a lot of candle left at the bottom of that. Uh, so this candle one would better work because I want to be able to smell the rest of the candle in there. <laughs> but we'll see how long it takes. I just turned it on. So I don't know what time it is, but I don't know, I usually burn a candle for at least two hours so that it has an even melting, so maybe two hours. I'm kind of laughing at the candle thing. It actually does look like things are starting to melt, but it's gonna be really hard to smell the candle when it smells like boiled eggs, which is what I call a boiling fart, because that's what boiled eggs smell like to me. I don't eat the boiled eggs. I can't do it. It's gross, it's gross. Anyway, uh, just shared um, a new clip from the podcast that released today. If you don't know, More Than Reality Podcast is Adam and I's podcast. Um, and we have started it a couple weeks ago, taking it way back to the beginning of how we met and going through our journey and telling the story from our um, straight perspective. Uh, today was talking about a little bit of infertility, getting in the journey of infertility, and Adam was sharing some of his experiences and a uh, really funny clip just got posted, um, more than reality. So 
who has fun, embarrassing infertility stories. I want to hear them. Well, sitting here, playing with the candle, making eggs, sit down, have a snack, and I'm like, oh my gosh, looked at my calendar to see what was going on, and I'm like, Blake has an orthodontist appointment. Gotta go. <laughs> I'm like, bye, I don't get, Gwen's about to get home from school, good thing you're home, because I gotta go. And I have been failing at the mom get you to appointments on time, um, I think like twice for other appointments. It's either the keys were lost, I couldn't find the car keys, Adam had them, I had zero keys to get out, missed the appointment, next time forgot it was that day, and it's like, even if it's on the calendar, I'm still missing it. It's like, I need an alarm set every time we have an appointment, but uh, mom brain, quint brain, that's what it is. I'm feeling so amazing because Blake just told me my outfit's cute. <laughs> I got barrel jeans on today. First time I've actually worn them and I love them. They're so comfortable, but I'm winning. Man, I'm just almost late picking it up, but I got a cute outfit on. I haven't heard that in a long time, B. Thank you so much. Let's go get your braces changed. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm Look at this cute little guy. It's right in here. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of DMs about this knife. I don't have any, they didn't send it to me for free or anything. I don't have any promo code, but it's only like $28 or whatever. Uh, it's from Stabby Labs. And the name's kind of funny. It's called the Fat PP. I'm not sure why, but it's a cool knife and it fits into that little fifth pocket. I also ordered this, it's called the John Wick Pencil. What's cool about this, this is not an actual pencil tip. It's a little stabby thing. You can, it's like an EDC uh, tool to, uh, it's either like an icebreaker or a device that you can use for self-defense, but it also comes with these little graphite tips that you can use as a pencil as well. Cool thing about these, it's a super hard graphite and you can write on this forever. Okay, so I got cut off, but this graphite tip, uh, it's a super hard graphite that you can write and write and write on it. And it's not gonna get worn down like a typical like number two pencil or whatever. And you can buy replacement tips on their website as well. But then on the back, there's a eraser on one side and then you can flip the pin around and it's magnetized so that'll hold that and there's a pin so it's got a pin a pencil and a stabby tip for like self-defense called the john wick pencil on our way to our small group at church but I wanted to let you guys know that episode seven of more than reality podcast is live and uh, we start into our fertility journey 